Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given system of two equations with two variables by substitution method. The very first step what we're going to do is look at the, the top equation. Let's go ahead and call this top equation as equation number one. And this second equation, I want to call it equation number two. So the next step, what we want to do is, I want you to go ahead. Uh, we want to isolate y over here. We want to isolate. We want to put y by itself. That means we're going to move this 2x on the other side. So that means, so if we isolate y, so y equals to it becomes negative 1 and then when you move 2x on the other side become negative 2x. So we got this one right now over here y equals to negative 1 minus 2x. I want to call this equation number 3. So our next step is we want to now do what? We want to substitute y in equation number two as you can see over here that means wherever you see this y i'm going to replace it by this whatever is in equation number three so let's go ahead and start working on that thing so equation two is three x minus five times what is the y value y value is we're going to replace this one with this thing that's going to be a negative 1 minus 2x and then parentheses closed equal to negative 21. So now let's go ahead and uh, distribute over here. So this is going to be 3x plus 5 plus 10x equals to negative 21. So over here 3x plus 10x becomes 13x plus 5 equals to negative 21. I want you to move this 5 on the other side becomes negative 5. So negative 21 and this become negative 5. So 13x equal to negative 26. I want you to divide both sides by 13. So x turns out to be negative 2. That is our x value. And in this next step, we're going to plug it in. Whatever we got x equal to negative 2 in our equation number 3. So what was our what is our equation 3, which is y equal to negative 1 minus 2x. So wherever you see x, we're going to replace it by negative 2. So this simply become y equals to negative 1 minus 2 two times x is negative 2. So let's go ahead and simplify this thing. So y equals to negative 1 plus positive 4. So y turns out to be positive 3. So thus our solution turns out to be a negative 2 comma 3. Negative 2 is your x value and 3 is your y value. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.